Friends Ireland is a collaborative not-for-profit group. Um, we're made up of members from oncology mostly. So we have clinicians, um, nurses, data managers, statisticians from all over Ireland working together to, on clinical trials in cancer. So we were set up about 20 years ago, and I suppose if you think back 20 years ago around the treatments that existed then for cancer compared to now, it was very different. And the reason we were set up is because a lot of our oncologists would have trained, so our cancer doctors would have trained in the US and, and in other countries, and they saw that cancer patients had options in other countries for trials, new treatments, and, and obviously options to live. Um, that Irish women in particular, when we're talking about breast trials in particular, didn't have. So that's where our foundation com has come from. But over time we've grown and we're, we're, we run trials in every disease area in cancer now. And the interesting thing is like, <clears throat> in Ireland we've got the who's who of pharmaceutical worlds yeah, here in Ireland. Here. Is, is that a, is that a, is that a, a blessing for, for, the, for, work, for the work you do? Absolutely, it's fantastic to have <clears throat> the 10 big pharmaceutical companies, the giants in, in, with a base in Ireland, and to have those links. And of course, as well, because a lot of our members would have trained in countries all over the world, they also bring a huge amount of wealth of knowledge of people involved in the space, because trials tends to be global. Um, so you need to really be engaged at a global level and to have companies here who are actually operating at a global level in our country is really, really helpful um, from a trial perspective. We, we run our own trials, um, we run in-house trials, we run trials with other collaborative groups like us from all over the world. But in all of our drug trials, of course, we have to work with the pharmaceutical industry because they produce the drugs. And, and you know, when you have cancer and you're looking for an option um, and, and maybe there's nothing on the market, a trial is a really good alternative. Um, and it's almost becoming part of the norm in, in hospitals all over the world that a cancer patient will be offered an opportunity to go on a clinical trial. And it's great to have, I mean, some of these, these products are being manufactured here. You know, so so that's you know it puts us it puts us in a very good position to do more in Ireland. And in terms of how the research landscape is evolving, um, I understand you guys do some cross border work as well. Yeah, well, it's really exciting because in the last you know 20 years ago, we always intended to be an all Ireland collaborative group, but in the last year, we've really tried to reinvigorate that notion. And so today, you know, working with Intertrade Ireland, they've really helped us to 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 drive this initiative over the last year to open our cancer trials cross-border. So if we're looking at a particular study um, in Dublin, we, we would also open it up in, in Belfast with our colleagues in, in Northern Ireland. And it's, it's great to be in that position and vice versa. We've already got three new trials on the table. Two of them are thanks to, to our work um, from our colleagues in Northern Ireland. And that, what that means for Irish patients is they have ac access geographically. You know, and unfortunately, if you draw a line in the map from Galway to Dublin, north of the border, north of that border, the, you know, we don't have access to a cancer treating centre. So we, we, we want to just ensure that our patients in Ireland have equity and, and equal access to potential trials. And we want to do more as well. And in terms of the skills, I mean, you know, we hear a lot about STEM subjects and the importance for, you know, I'm aware of the tech industry constantly looking for people, yeah. and I'm sure that the pharma industry is no different and the research side of it is no different. In terms of the race for skills, what can we be doing more to ensure that we have the pipeline of people to help, you know, continue this, this work you're doing? Well, in, in Cancer Trials Ireland, we have about 50 uh, research staff. And they, I mean, the least qualified, it's quite an intimidating place, actually. The least qualified person has, you know, a PhD or a master's in translational oncology. And, and you know, they're out there managing our trials. Oh, and they're almost like auditors. So they're making sure that everything we say in our protocols happens at site, that the patient is safe, that our ethics are approved, all of these things.